Time keeps on marching. My goodness, we've got the June 2024 stats in there. Here they are. So if we look at sales volume, we've got about a 7% reduction from May. That is not alarming, that is expected. In fact, what we see if we look at kind of a 10 year history, we've got about 13% of the calendar year usually happening in May and about 11% in June. So the truth is in this particular year, there's a smaller gap between May and June than we typically see. So seasonally appropriate. Active listings, we're up about 0.9%. So that's good news too. We're not seeing the market flooding with a bunch of new listings. But you know, slightly fewer sales, same amount of listings, actually slightly more listings. What does that turn into? We're sitting with two and a half months of staying inventory. So we're moving towards more of a balanced market. Now two and a half months is still would be considered a seller's market, but a softer seller's market than maybe two or 2.2. So appears to be a bit of a rebalance happening. And of course, as inventory goes up, sales go down, we're going to see prices typically moderate. So we're sitting at 687 from 691 a month ago. Interesting. There's a lot of speculation that that, you know, quarter point reduction in the overnight uh, Bank of Canada rate would cause prices to skyrocket. That does not seem to bear out in the numbers thus far. Um, pretty small reduction. I have previously communicated that half percent reduction probably about a two and a half percent increase in uh, purchasing power for people and we haven't seen it come through. So if we look at you know what happened last year versus this year, so June versus June, we had um, you know essentially the same number of sales, 1437 versus 1439. So a 0.1 percent increase this year, yay Ottawa. And active listings are up quite a bit, 45 percent. So we ended up with 1.7 months of inventory last year, two and a half this year. Now keep in mind as you know, this was kind of the end of that real crazy cycle. Interest rates started to kind of go up quite a bit and we saw the sales fall off. So this is, you know, one of the last snapshots of a very tight market before things soften in the back half of 2023. But here it is, June versus June, a good increase in inventory. Moving on, last slide for today, we're just looking at, you know, how are the individual little markets doing? So from a single family, uh, home standpoint, slight reduction in price, 829 versus 854. Hey, you know, more inventory, more choices, a little bit more bargaining power, kind of to be expected. Similar on the townhouse, 0.5% um, reduction in average price, 553 to buy a townhome, 0.6% reduction in the average apartment, 455 versus 458 a year ago. So, Months of standing inventory right now, 2.7 in the single family homes, 1.8 in the town, and 3.2 in the apartments. What does that tell you? Um, I think I've commented on this before, but um, you know, from an affordability standpoint, town home at 553 is kind of the center of the bell curve in a lot of ways. And so we're seeing a tighter market there than we are in the single family homes or in the apartments. This is a little bit of a suggestion of oversupply, but not only that, to be an entry level purchaser right now is challenging. So we probably have some people that are in that entry level price point that are, you know, elected to rent just because of the um, cost of borrowing money. Anyways, there it is. So kind of a moderate June, uh, nothing alarming. Sales volume a little bit lower as one would expect. Prices are moderate. Let's see what July brings.